just policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. What's that? Why? What? What's wrong? Not in here. Hey, wee, whoa, six feet rule. Why? What's wrong? Not today. What? I'm I'm doing a story that you guys are actually opening and doing what the Constitution says. You're gonna have to turn it off if you go inside. I can't take a picture that you're having a service. No recording inside today. Are you doing a live stream? Are you doing a live stream? That's a simple question. Are you doing a live stream? Are you recording it? You recorded last week. Okay. Nobody knew that you were recording. Okay. So and that's illegal? somebody about it? Uh, who, why? Who do you want to talk to? I talked to Pastor. I'm, I know the guy, man. I've met him multiple times. Seriously. Why? Who do you want me to talk to? What's in your bag? What? What's in your bag that you're carrying? Uh, my cell phone, my wallet. I'm not a terrorist, man. I'll give you my business card. Are you serious? I'll take your are, business card. Are you a cop? I'll take your business card. Are you a cop? Are you a cop? Are you a cop? I've been a reporter for eight years, man. Eight years. Facebook, YouTube, websites. Oh, crap. You are a cop. It's right there. I am supporting what you guys are doing. I am not against what you guys are doing. I was just at, in Port Charlotte at another church, drive-in. I support it. I'm not the tyrannical government. I'm not the tyrannical police that are violating people's rights. Okay, what else? Why, who do you want me to meet? You're speechless? So can I go in or not? There's no recording inside here today. But you guys are live streaming it. Are you live streaming this? Are you a cop and why would you say stuff like that? Are you recording too, by the way? Dude, seriously, man, really? By the way, uh, um, I know you're probably, you're off duty and all that, but what is your badge and number and uh, name? I have to pull records to find out. By the way, I do believe we need cops, just not policing for profit or corrupt ones or anything like that. You know what I mean? So what else? Do I get, I get to go in and take a picture or not? No pictures in there. That's distracting. I'm not going in the front. I was going to ask you if you got balcony stuff. You got balcony stuff? We do. You're going to be that on Kristen today, seriously? That's what we do with being Christian. I, I, wow. We saw him on the cameras coming in, so uh, he had said that he has no, no recording inside here today. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome to be inside. Just we appreciate not having a recorder there. Please. All right. What you guys are live streaming, right? And yes, recording sir. this? Yeah. Right. Respectfully asking you to, to honor that simple request. 
You can, you can tune in online, you can download it. Right. So I'm here to support what you're doing, and you don't, you don't support... You don't support that I'm supporting you and Christianity and the First Amendment. Seriously, okay, you're off duty. Tell me your name and your badge number at least. Doesn't your policy say you're supposed to do that? I asked you to turn your camera off. There's no recording in sight. Okay. No, no flash, no camera. I'm not going to flash. This is really depressing, man. You're being extremely unchristian. I'm very, very sad. I, gi I give up, man. You win. I'm going to pull records. You are not a Christian. At all. Very. Oh, now the video went from good church to a piece of shit church. So are you security? Yes. All right. So how did it go so far today? I mean, did it did it go fine? Uh, nobody freaked out coming in. Uh, I'm I'm just a guy going to church, and uh, yes, I do reporting on the same on the on the side. Everything are you are you off duty sheriff? Everything is great so far. Right. Are you the off duty sheriff? I'm not gonna talk to you about that. Right. So is this Charlotte County a sheriff jurisdiction or sheriff? Or Sarasota. I ag I agree with you guys holding. I think it's great. That's it's that's right. It's in the Constitution. So no pastor's been arrested yet today. Right. Well, that's true. Around the country, you're right. There could be somewhere else. So they have the seats marked, or everybody just staying apart? Uh, I am, I am. Because I'm sure you heard that Tampa pastor was uh, sadly arrested, and I guess he's got an awesome lawyer now. Really good lawyer. I, I'm doing good. I would shake your hand, but I, but I can't. I just wanted to say thank you for staying open. I, 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 did, I did not know that you guys have been stayed, you stayed open this whole time. All right, so everything's been fine. Nobody's harassed you. They haven't tried to arrest you. I don't mind. People say things. People are horrible, buddy. Wow. We got, we got, yeah, but it's okay. But guess what? Right. Last week, like 20 something. This past week, too. Right. I think they get the message. We're not shutting down. So I you know, love it. And we're just trying to do right. We're not right. Trying. You'll see this big auditorium. It's oh, huge. it's huge. I agree. This is the first time I've been here. It's 1,400 seats and everybody's Easier than a Walmart. Right. It's a lot better than Walmart, bro. Right. Or Home Depot, they're stacked right. right in line so right. you don't want so many stores. But you're lined up on one another. I went yesterday. I was like, what are you people doing? I, I agree. You got breathing over your neck. I agree. And, and I'm a small business that is affected. I clean houses for people and two-thirds of my business is gone. Yeah. We're, we're going to be here for you. I agree. That's why I drove all the way from Punta Gorda. Our church shut down. Who are you? Tell me. Uh, my, actually, I think I met you before. Uh, man. I, can't uh, I, I know. My name is Andy. I, I'm a reporter. I, I will be honest. I'm a reporter for Charlotte County Cop Watch. We do stories on, you know, everything. Uh, but I think, but I am a, a constitutionalist. I'm a Bible believer. I'm a Christian. How about all that? And so, you got a, got a flag band down, I think. think that's why I did <laughs> I it today. You were pretty, I thought this guy was pretty good. You got the flag on his face. Exactly. Right. So I well, you're support here. this. Gary by the yep. administrator Alex. Good to meet you. My tech director is Raj. Anything, we have okay. a lot of online stuff. Anything right. you see online comes through his ministry. and been doing that for a long time, five years. Right. And he takes care of all our, right. know, all our bills, finances, and stuff like that. Everything you see here, Andy, is dead right. free. Wow. Wow. And I really, I'm a believer. I got saved when I was at El Rey. So my right. was a drunk. And so right. we just do this. And how could we not open our doors when we did this death? I free? agree. How could we just, oh, oh, I'm in charge now. Is that it? I'm in charge right. to shut the doors? Right. No, I'm not in charge. Right. This is the Lord's house. Right. 
book of Revelation says I set before you an open door. Right. No man can shut. I agree. And we'll see if this church is true. Well, and next time, <laughs> next time, hopefully I'll bring the wife. She I'll bring the wife. She didn't wake nice. up in time, nice. and, and well, our church, our church is shut down. So yes, Which I is think your uh, we're, Peace River Baptist Church. Oh, yeah, Peace River Baptist. I know it down there on the south That's side. right. By the way, she's a really good singer. You need singers. Uh, we love. You listen to mine, and you tell me what you think. Oh, <laughs> on, all right. I love singers. I okay. Love, here's what we need. We want peace. We want people to serve the Lord. Right. I believe this is going to have a. A big effect on us. I mean, it's hard to get people to just come to church to begin with. I agree. We usually go to church, good, good church, right. especially during the season. Right. But we have people stay home for three, four, six weeks, eight weeks. Well, it's not really good for the really psyche. Really centers, right? I agree. You know what I mean? You give me extra time to just screw around. I'll right. It's crazy. You guys rock, man. All right, we'll be back next time, okay? So you've already been here. Have you uh, been in here? I've been in there, so I already saw that. Oh, so you had church already. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I'm going to Northport Drive-In oh, Church. I want to yeah. see that. We had that also yeah. this morning. Yeah, we had that this morning. Oh, that's how you did it for the for the morning stuff? All right. Chairs around church. Yeah, it's cool. I'm, I'm going to be back. Good, buddy. It's good to meet you guys. You have a good day. What the? Did you do one of our services yet today? Uh, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm going to finish at Northport. Yes. Okay. So but I'll be back so with the wife. You just talked into us. You didn't hear our singers or nothing yet. I'm going to be back with oh, the nice. wife. That's good. I'll be nice. back with the wife. Just drop by to see us. Say hello. Oh, I'm, I am supporting you 100% because you saw what they did to the Tampa pastor. Yeah, and I ain't his biggest fan at all because of his teaching. Right. But he has every right to open the that's, that's my point. Well, the attorney general actually last night. He's going to be a very wealthy pastor. Yes, he is. I saw that. You have a good day. You have a good day. Talking, but don't don't know what I'm talking about here. Okay, but uh, recently Fellowship Church, we're building an incredible facility in the middle of Rotunda. I think uh, uh, Mr. Truex knows about it. I wish all of you did because it's an incredible property developed. I think it's uh, nicer than most anything in all of Charlotte County, period. And uh, we got a letter saying that uh, because we hadn't had an inspection, there's going to be a fee of $13,000 dollars charge Fellowship Church. I was in shock. Came to see Ben Bailey. I don't know if Ben's here or not. In the room. New head of the building department. Needless to say, uh, we just, you know, was because we didn't have one inspection and we'd been working really hard and doing it debt free, by the way. Millions and millions of debt free. Uh, so, long story short, I came here to appeal, could to no avail, but it uh, dis disturbed me a little bit just because of, I guess why I'm here today with, with my two minutes left, is uh, to say I think we need to be the most courteous county. Other counties give a courtesy letter when a homeowner, an owner, is going to be facing new fee charges that are so astronomical. And other counties all around us do it. But the response to me was, quote, we don't have to. That bothered me. I think we ought to serve the people of this county, especially when we're going to charge those kind of fees. And I think that's what's happening today. Uh, some fee schedule changes, maybe the way we would do things. But I certainly, I know we would have jumped so high. <laughs> we'd have got a letter that said, hey, within 30 days, you're going to be charged 13000 I guarantee it, my administration would have been down here. We'd have jumped every hoop we had to do. And it could have been a tiny little inspection. So uh, anyway, so that's number one. Number two, I call the commission's office, uh, Mr. Truex specifically. One minute. And uh, didn't get a return call. But when I went to see Mr. Bailey, he knew about it because he said, I understand someone's called the commission. And I think on courtesy also, we ought to return those calls. And you did. Thank you, finally. Uh, but uh, I just think we are, and people just throughout the county, when it comes to building and fees, there's just like a, we should really work hard uh, as people, as commission, to, to really work on courteousness. I'd be happy to help you guys in any way that I could to help us be the most courteous county, period, when it comes to dealing with homeowners and the fees that they're paying and they're working with builders. Sometimes they don't know what builders are doing. It'd be nice for them to know and be alerted that they're going to get charged $13,000. And let's be like other counties and give them that uh, advance notice. I think it would be appropriate. And also to return calls and and uh, just do as much as we can to be courteous. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Appreciate it.
next is uh, <clears throat> Pastor Gary Clark, also speaking to R2. Hey, guys. How are you all today? Good morning, sir. Good to see you. I've heard great things. Fantastic. <laughs> and I agree with it as well. I love our county here. Don't y'all? It's incredible, the people that we get to serve with. I've been here a long time. I'm over in Inglewood, Rotunda, very large church. Uh, during the hardest times, we built that campus. I actually had a billboard on the highway that said building in the tough times to try to encourage people, to help people. We did everything we did debt free. It's probably the nicest building, not just church, period. Campus, you can eat off of it. Matter of fact, your county workers come out here and eat their lunch under the shade trees. So we love this county. I just would like to say one thing. I grew up as a hell raiser. My mother was a drunk. Life was horrible for us. I lived in a hell hole. One night my mama drunk, depressed, heard Billy Graham, the old preacher on TV. She didn't know what she was doing best she could. She got motivated to go to church. I came home that night after partying and she said, we're going to church in the morning. I cussed her out, F you, whatever, right to her face. Next morning, we didn't have a car. I walked to a little old country church with my mama just so some preacher wouldn't take our last dollar. That's the only reason I went. I was always this big. They were nice to us. They didn't judge us like dogs. They were kind to us. Me and mama went back three weeks in a row, and we put our faith in Jesus Christ. My mama never drank another drop. I didn't realize as a hell-raising teenager, that was probably the one thing I wanted in life, was my mama to be sober. I gave my life to serving people. This is, Inglewood is my town. If you've never heard of me, you'll find out about me. Inglewood is my town. Everybody matters there. Whether they come to my church or not, my favorite hangout is McDonald's every morning. <laughs> to love on people. I just give you that story. That's just the churches. I love what the Habitat does. I love that. I love that. This is and one last thing I want to say. I'm doing all right. <laughs> is that this county per capita probably has more seniors than any other county in the state. Or in the country, maybe. And church matters to these people. I had a fella come to me yesterday, Sunday, Dave Edwards was, I've never met him. He said, we're going to build down here, we think, but we, we're going to make sure that we're going to a church, that there's a church that we can fit into because that matters to us. This isn't some yuppie town. This is a place where people love America and they love God. Thank God for Charlotte County. Thank you, Pastor. See you later. Adios. Adios. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.